channel. This is a reading for Libra. Libra, um, I'm doing a general reading today. This is not specific to love or work or, or any, anything like that. It's just, it's going to fit where it fits. It's just general. Um, I'm doing today's reading using the Celtic cross spread. And for the sake of time, I've already meditated, shuffled, and pulled your cards. I'm going to try to put that video up so you can see that pre-shuffle. But um, trust that I have. And um, I just want to say that I'm a fairly new channel here. And I want to thank all of you who have already subscribed. I've been getting, you know, subscribers. And I appreciate you all. If you haven't already subscribed and you like what I do and it resonates, go ahead and subscribe. So... We're going to go ahead and get started. So, again, I'm doing the uh, Celtic cross spread. So, in your position, Libra, I see that you have the Nine of Cups. Let's see that here. The Nine of Cups represents you. So, um, this person has achieved a lot, but it's not good enough. As you can see in the picture, um, you know, she has all these cups, but she's got her arms crossed and she's not satisfied. So somewhere there's something that you want. There's something that, you know, they call this the, this is referred to as the wish fulfillment card. So there's something that you want, you desire. Um, in the challenge position was, or is the Queen of Swords. So it's in the challenge. The Queen of Swords is usually, um, you know, she's smart. She, you know, speaks the truth. She doesn't have a hard time communicating. Um, so since this is in your challenge position, there's something that you want, but you're having a hard time communicating what you want. You, you, um, kind of lack the self-confidence right now to go for what it is that you want or the situation. Uh, this is the past, what happened in the past position that's affecting your inability to speak about, you know, what you want, um, is the five of pentacles. So somewhere you know, there's some sort of traumatic situation that happened that made you feel um, left out in the cold. Again, this is a general reading. So, you know, if it's love, someone could have, you know, walked away from you. If it's a job, maybe you lost a job or didn't get a job that you applied for, however that fits. But you, you lost your self-confidence. You lost your Queen of Swords self-confidence because of this Five of Pentacles situation that's happened in the past. Um, this position here represents what you can expect in the near future. Not the final outcome, but just what you can expect in the near future regarding the situation. You have the Knight of Swords, which means that you're going to build up your self-confidence. So you'll get over, you know, whatever this Five of Pentacles situation is, and you're going to start moving toward what it is that you want quickly. You're going to start speaking up. You know that, you know, staying in this, you know, inability to speak in this challenge position is going to have to end. So, you know, in true Libra fashion, that this is a sword, a sword, this is Libra. So you know how to talk and speak up for yourself. So you will be doing that in the near future with this Knight of Swords. Um, this position represents what are you doing? What are you actively doing? Um, to uh, help your situation, the chariot. So um, you're going to be moving toward what it is that you want. So with this Knight of Swords and this chariot, you're going to be moving quickly. You've thought about it and you're going to be moving quickly toward whatever it is that you want. Um, this represents, you know, your subconscious. What are you doing? What's your subconscious thoughts? This could be, um, you know, fears or hopes, which is going to come later on, but still it's in the subconscious. So in the subconscious, you're plotting and, and planning and thinking about what you can do. Even though you haven't enacted it yet, you haven't acted upon it yet, you are planning on it. That's in your subconscious mind. It's what you want to do. Um, you're planting the seeds, positive thoughts about your situation. And so in this position here, this is uh, the advice position. So you have, your advice is the queen of pentacles. Know your worth. This is advice. So um, we go back here to this nine of cups, which is you. You have worked on yourself. 
Um, you know your worth. You know that you're good enough for whatever this situation is. Um, so go for it. You have everything that it takes with this um, Queen of Pentacles. This here, this represents, this position is the external. External influences that are outside of your control. So what is happening here um, that's outside of your control? It's the star. So you're not being seen. You're not being seen. So whatever your situation is, no one knows because you have not gone toward it. So um, self-confidence. You know, I love this card um, in, in this particular deck. Um, she's pouring water. She's getting back in balance. You've got the crane there. Good luck, hopes, uh, dreams. So that's the external influence. You're not being seen yet. And so these two cards, this is your your hopes and this is your, um, your hopes and fears. So your hopes, you have the five of wands. So you hope that you can compete. You hope that you're good enough. You hope that you can um, overcome and win in this situation, whatever it may be. There might be lots of competition um, regarding whatever the situation is. And you hope that you can be right there at the forefront winning. Your fears, 10 of Pentacles. So you're, you fear, for some reason, you fear really getting what you want. You know that if you enact all of these things and act upon it, you're going to get what you want. And because you have this advice card here as the Queen of Pentacles, there's some sort of insecurity there. There's insecurity. This this is, you know, for a Ten of Pentacles to be in the fears position, it's really, you know, saying that you fear getting what you want. Because sometimes, you know, it's, it's kind of like saying... You know, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. And will you be able to, um, you know, stand up to it? Will you be able to sustain when you get there? So um, the overall outcome of the situation is the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles means that, you know, you might get what you want and you're going to hold on tightly to it. And never let go. So I, I think the four, you know, of pentacles is good. And if it's something that you are, if this is job related, you know, you're going to be in a situation where, you know, you'll be able to save money and hold on to money. If it's a love situation, you'll be able to hold on to that too, very tightly. But whatever it is, it's also the four of pentacles could be like an obsessive type card too, where you um, become clingy and needy. So. Um, whatever that means to you, it means to you, Libra. But, you know, I look at this as the overall outcome is being good because it means you're going to get what you want. You're going to have a lot of it and you're going to hold on to it. So I'm not sure, you know, only you know what the situation is, Libra. It's general. Um, speak up. Start going toward what you're wanting to go uh, toward. You're good enough. I love this Queen of Pentacles being in the advice position because this is telling me that you are good enough. And you need to have self-confidence. You will win. Um, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to, you know, to fight to the finish to get what you want. So um, I hope this makes sense to you. And again, I thank you all for watching. And um, have a nice day.